On this worksheet, we're gonna practice drawing the structures of peptides. Peptides are amino acids that are connected together. The first peptide that we're gonna draw is made from three amino acids. They're being shown here by their three letter abbreviations. As a reminder, the general structure for an amino acid, there's a carbon in the middle, that carbon has a hydrogen on it, and then some sort of R group, some sort of group of atoms down here, that's what makes the amino acid unique. On the left-hand side, we have a nitrogen that has two or three hydrogens, usually drawn with three hydrogens. And on the right-hand side, we have a carbon with a carbon-oxygen double bond and a carbon-oxygen single bond. Sometimes this is an OH, uh, but usually drawn as an O-. minus. So this is the general structure of an amino acid. What I'm going to do for the first peptide, I'm going to begin by drawing this much of each one of those three amino acids. So the nitrogen, the carbon, and the carbon for each one of these amino acids. I'm basically creating like a framework for um, for this peptide. So for PHE, we have a nitrogen, a carbon, and a carbon right there. And then as a reminder, that first carbon that we drew, which is this carbon right here, that carbon has a hydrogen on it, and then it has whatever R group that makes, uh, makes the amino acid PHE. We'll fill this in um, later. Let's draw this backbone for our second amino acid, LYS. We have a nitrogen, a carbon, and a carbon. And that first carbon that we drew in blue, that's the one that has the hydrogen on it and the R group that makes, uh, makes the amino acid LYS. And then let's do the same thing for our last amino acid, GLU. We have a nitrogen, we have a carbon. This is the carbon that has the hydrogen and the R group. And then we have one more carbon. We have a little bit more filling in to do in addition to filling in these R groups right here. Um, so for the nitrogen on the very left-hand side, this is our NH3 plus nitrogen. So we can fill that in. That's our NH3 plus nitrogen. And also for the carbon on our very right-hand side, this is the COO minus. There. So the very left-hand side and the very right-hand side are gonna match the original amino acid structures. The other nitrogens and carbons have been modified a little bit to um, help connect the two amino acids together. So this carbon right here, which at one point did look like this, it doesn't look like that anymore because it is now being connected to this nitrogen. So these carbon atoms that are that used to be the COO minus, but now are somewhere in the middle of the chain, they are just carbon oxygen double bonds, just like that. And they've lost that extra oxygen atom right here. And our nitrogen atoms that are in the middle, they used to be the NH3 pluses, they're not anymore. Now they are just NHs, like that. So the nitrogen that's on the very left-hand side is gonna match the amino acid. The carbon that's on the very right-hand side is going to match the amino acids. All the other carbons in the middle are just gonna be carbon-oxygen double bonds, and all the nitrogens in the middle are just gonna be NH, that's it. So all we have left to do is fill in the structures of these R groups based on the type of amino acid that we're looking at. The um, three-letter abbreviation PHE, I have a table of amino acids over here that has the three-letter abbreviations on it, so we just have to go through and find PHE. This is a really blurry table of amino acids, um, This, uh, but it's the... Surprisingly, it's the best, easiest one that I could find to work with. So here's phenylalanine, PHE. That R group is a CH2 that has a benzene ring on the end of it. So this is going to be a CH2 with a benzene ring. Our next amino acid is LYS. Let's go find that. <coughs> Down here. And that looks like it's one, two, three, four CH2s with an NH3 plus on the end. CH2, there are four of them. We can do that with an NH3 plus at the very end. And our last amino acid, GLU, we want to fill that in right there. GLU, glutamic acid, is a CH2, CH2, COO minus. Let's try this again for a couple more examples. We have a few more examples. So let's begin. Um, this next one is a four amino acid chain. Let's begin by just making that series of four, uh, framework for four amino acids. We have a nitrogen, carbon, carbon. That carbon in the middle has our hydrogen and then it's gonna have the R group that makes it PRO. Then we have another nitrogen, carbon, carbon. That first carbon we drew is the one that makes it ILE. And then we have nitrogen, carbon, carbon. 
The first carbon is what makes it VAL. And then we have a nitrogen carbon, carbon, and that carbon is what makes it ALA. The nitrogen on the very left-hand side is our NH3+. The carbon on the very right-hand side is our COO-. All the other nitrogens have only one hydrogen. All of the carbon atoms that we haven't touched yet, they have a carbon-oxygen double bond. Like that. And then all we have to do now is go find the R groups that make each one of these unique. Uh, I have found ALA first. That looks like it's just a methyl, a CH3. And right next to it is valine, V-A-L. That is a CH, CH3, CH3. Uh, I have found ILE. That's a CH, CH3, CH2, CH3. We just need to find PRO. It's right there. Oh, this one's a very tricky one. Look at that. Very unique structure. So that's a CH2 connected to a CH2, connected to a CH2, which bonds up to this different um, nitrogen. This one has two hydrogens on it. We've got two more examples. Let's move on to the next two examples. This one has uh, four amino acids again. So we want to set up for four amino acids, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, that first carbon is our GLN, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, TYR, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, THR, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, GLY. The nitrogen on the very left-hand side is our NH3+. The nitrogen, or the carbon on our very right-hand side is a COO-. Our other nitrogens have just a hydrogen on them, and our other carbons are a carbon-oxygen double bond. And then we just have to go find these, these uh, R groups. And it looks like here is GLY. That's just a hydrogen. Here is GLN, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, NH2, TYR is right next to it. That is a CH2 with a benzene ring and an OH. And then here is our THR. C H C H three O H. We have one more that we can practice with. Four amino acids: nitrogen, carbon, carbon. Carbon in the middle has a hydrogen and the A S N R group. Nitrogen, carbon, carbon, with the A R G group. Nitrogen, carbon, carbon. T R P and nitrogen, carbon, carbon with HIS. Nitrogen on the very left is our NH3, carbon on the very right is our COO minus. The other nitrogens each have only one hydrogen, the other carbons each have a carbon oxygen double bond. And our last step is to find all of the R groups. Here's HIS. That in green is a CH2, C, single bond to the left, NH, CH, double bond, NH plus. This is a pretty complicated structure. I didn't draw it very pretty. And we have, oh, we also have ARG. That's going to be a CH2, 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 CH2. C double bond NH2 plus, single bond NH2 without a plus. And we have a ASN, that is a CH2, C double bond O, NH2. And one more, we're looking for TRP.
Oh boy, that's going to be a tricky one to draw. CH2. Like that. And then a ring off to the side. There we go.